Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, I am going to show you how simple DocuAir and Sage 50 can integrate and work together. I'm going to show you an invoice coming into DocuAir, being stored away, and then being posted out to the Sage 50 transaction ledger for payment and processing through the accounts package. Let's dive straight in. First of all, I'm going to log into DocuAir. DocuS supports multiple different types of logins, including connecting to your Microsoft account or having a direct account within DocuAir. For the sake of this demonstration, I am going to use my direct account within DocuAir. I'm going to click Login, and I am then presented with a screen in front of me that shows me all of the invoices that we have received from within our inbox while I've been out of the system. I'm going to process this invoice here on the right-hand side. If I click Store, Save invoice and credit note. What I can see is the DocuAir AI system has automatically read all of the information off of this invoice and put it into the relevant fields. So it's correctly read that the supplier was US Steel. As you can see, it's highlighted over here on the right hand side where it's found that information from, and it's then gone and found the supplier code for US Steel. It's correctly pulled the document number. It hasn't pulled the PO number, which is incorrect. But to teach it, it's really simple. All I do is left click over the PO number. You'll see it goes green. I then let go of my mouse and it automatically puts the PO number into that field for me. The net amount, the tax amount and the gross amount, it's got correct. The invoice date, it's got correct. And now if I look at the bank account number, again, it's pulled the wrong information. To correct that, it's, again, it's super simple. I left click, drag over the correct value on the right hand side, let go of my mouse and it puts that value in. For the sake of this demo, I am going to send my invoice back to myself for approval. So I'm going to put my name into here. And then we go into the lines. DocuAir is able to read all of the data from all the lines automatically, as we can see here. To teach it, it's not a long, laborious process. It's actually incredibly simple. We left click over the quantity, left click and drag over the description, and then left click over the unit price. If I now click autofill table, you'll see DocuAir automatically pulls all those line items in. Now what I've built here is for the Sage integration. What we have now is we have a drop down that shows us the various GL codes that are available to us in Sage. We also have the various tax codes that are available to us in Sage. Now we can set up DocuAir multiple ways here. So for the sake of this demonstration, I have left this completely manual because I wanted to show you the ability for us to do this manually within DocuAir to be able to choose multiple GL codes on our postings. So I'm going to post like this. And under the tax code, everything here is T0. Now we could set the system up to automatically know that the supplier US Steel is always going to be at T0. We could also set up multiple different business rules on here to be able to support whatever we're looking at doing as a business here. For the sake of this demo, I wanted to keep it super, super simple and just show you that the flexibility is there within DocuF for us to do this. When I'm happy with everything, I click Store. I get a pop-up telling me in the top right-hand side that my document has been st stored successfully and it leaves my list of items to action. Now what you can see in front of me is that I have had a red task appear in the system indicating that I have something to action on this invoice. So if I click on my task, double click here, I see the invoice pick, pop up on the right hand side and it's actually come to me for approval. I can approve, reject, or send it to a different approver. These steps here are completely customizable. DocuS is completely flexible in what you're able to do here. For the sake of this demo and to keep it incredibly simple, I'm gonna click approve. I'm gonna say all okay. And now that invoice is going to have left my task list. That would have now moved on to some other place in the business, to some other user in the business to action, or depending on the business process, it could have posted directly to Sage, could we have wanted it to. In this demonstration, what has happened now is the invoice has looped back, has come back to the accounts as a fully approved invoice. Accounts now have three options that they can action at this stage. They can mark it as okay to post to Sage, send it for additional approval, or they can cancel the invoice just to give them an out still at this stage. Accounts are able to check all of the information so they can see the line totals, they can see the GL codes, they can see the tax codes. If they needed to amend anything at this stage, they can, 
they've got kind of full flexibility and full rights to give them whatever they need to do on this invoice at this point in time. Again, as it is, I'm completely happy with everything on this invoice, so I'm going to click confirm. You'll see that invoice has now left my list of items to action. Now if I go to my searches and find the invoice from US Steel, hit search, what I can see is my invoice here. Double click and open it up on the right hand side, I can see all of the history that's happened to this invoice. If I look at the history here, I can see that at 11.40 today roughly, the document was shown as posted to Sage. I can see that as well under the document status, just there showing posted to Sage. If I go to my Sage system, open it up, go to my suppliers, you can see my supplier here, double click on the supplier, under the activity, you'll see there I have the activity showing for this supplier. If I look into that activity, I can see all of the lines that were registered on that, showing the nominal codes. I didn't put any departments in, but you can see the tax codes there as well. So you can see there straight away within Sage, we have the ability to see all of the data relating to that transaction and the integration between DocuAir and Sage working seamlessly. Thanks for watching.